Yeah, yeah you're, you've got a very um, uh, sort of a phys- physically impressive penis. Like John described I'm it. Gonna, I'll a... put that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. St- still recording, Luke. But keep Good. it a mystery as to whose penis I'm talking about. Oh, oh yeah, 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 no, okay. cheers, Luke. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> so fancy but you already know ladies and gentlemen welcome to the football ramble lovely to have you here i'm here marcus c speller i'm joined by luke a moore flavor what's right. your middle name pete very little imagination on behalf of my parents i don't have a middle name and pete donaldson, donaldson. feel free to nominate a middle name for me I That'd think that's lazy. I think that's a perfectly a fun little good feature. opportunity to give someone a name and not give a name. Bearing in mind my dad, Stuart, he was insisting on calling me Diggory Donaldson for a long time. <laughs> I don't think he should be asked to come yeah. up with a third name. That's it, Pete Diggory Donaldson. Mm. Or yeah. Pete Donald Donaldson. I've always fancied Marmaduke. That would be fitting. The big dog. Yeah. Diggory Sexy Donaldson dog. sounds a bit like a, like a, a sort of below par <laughs> Death Row Records rapper that wouldn't quite get his own record Diggory out. Donaldson yeah, but, he would get, but he would get like a, a verse or two on a, a Snoop Dogg record mixtape like a mixtape yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe, uh, up there with Lady of Rage I like, I like a really bad uh, mid 80s spectrum game like Attic Attack yeah Diggory yeah. Donaldson or, yeah. or wow. Mummy Horace Goes Skiing that's yeah. What, yeah, yeah. Well, Diggory Donaldson don't have got Horace Diggory oh. Donaldson's in the house ladies he was, and gentlemen he was a system seller Luke mm. <laughs> yeah you see that sudden? That's the woman I wish your mother was. <laughs> <laughs> the fashion. <Yeah. laughs> oh my goodness! I thought you had one more Scottish story. Oh come on! Come it on! Too much. Tell me no, it isn't. Oh, Let's it's... make it a top three. All right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. And this was a story from the other, yes, very much from yesterday when Gary Locke was playing at fullback for Hearts. <laughs> and Brian, <laughs> Brian Lauter had the ball for ages, bringing it forward. And Locke, he was caught between two men. He he, he wanted to. Because obviously Loudrup's got the ball. Yeah. Alarm bells are ringing in yeah. any Scottish fullback <laughs> when that happens. And uh, he, he went to go to take him to, to, to go and make a challenge. But then he thought, oh, no, I've still got a man to mark. So he kind of went back. And then he went, oh, no, but it's Loudrup. And he's gone forward. And then he's gone back. And he's gone in between these two players. <laughs> This lad in the crowd, and this is a quote, uh, but it just stood up. He couldn't take it anymore. For fuck's sake, Lock! You're a man caught between two bus stops! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcus Speller's Scottish uh, more story that. time. Let's do some more next I'm week. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Walter Smith involved next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We really must move on. Yeah. Sorry about that. There we are. We look forward to uh, some more Scottish capers. Well, that's more of a Polish one, really, but, you know, yeah. as the season goes on. Uh, what else we got? Continental Europe. These leagues are not underway yet. No. So we're not going to talk about them. Clear. South America, we're going to go there briefly. Um, now... Where they speak Argentinian. They do. They speak Brazilian as well, <laughs> and Chilean, and all the other aliens. Um, uh, people thought Brazil had taken a step back with Phil Scolari in charge, and obviously their World Cup campaign right. ended you in disgrace. A step back? Eh? What about this? Well, Dunga's in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> what, Phil Scolari, he put us out. Who was the guy in the previous World Cup? We did a quarterfinal to get him back. Yeah. <laughs> we want to play haircut. beautiful football. We want to play the Brazil way. We want to manage it with a roll neck. We can't. Flat top and his daughter's clothes. If that is a step back, I don't know what it is. That's how far they saw. His daughter's clothes. We are, le- we are legitimately <laughs> laughing at Brazilian <laughs> national team football. That's how far they've sucked. Oh, oh dear. This is going to make elegance. his way back to Brazil. And they're going to go, English people are laughing at us. Who's <laughs> <laughs> in that haircut? Oh, yeah. man. Well, um, it has been reported that yes. some people are suggesting that. It was Skybet Banter. <laughs> it was just Skybet. Yeah. Banter Bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Neil Warnock's back in the Premier League. Yeah, he is. everyone apart from Palace fans are happy about that. No one saw that coming, did they? Did he's they? he's almost like the Peter Reid or Howard Wilkinson of now, where he just keeps popping up again. At yeah, clubs. I quite like that. Um, someone said in the, in, in, asked him in his first press conference, and I heard this on Five Live. Said um, they well, call you Colin Wanker. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they were thinking. Mm. Uh, they said, "Oh, is, realistically, Neil, is this a long term appointment? I mean, do you think he's going to be here in five years?" And Neil Warnock legitimately said, "Well, I hope I'm still alive in five years." <laughs> 
You never know. At my age, wow. you never know what's going to happen. Wow. Wow. That's, what a that's cheery, isn't it? Bleak oh. reflection on I, our own mortality. I might be relegated from life. I liked, <laughs> <laughs> I liked when he said, uh, oh, you know, I know I was seventh choice, but I'm happy to be here and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, take a note, Tim, Tim Sherwood. Sherwood yeah. <laughs> take a leaf out of Warnock's book. It's nice to get out the house at my age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, who is yeah. <laughs> currently the hardest manager in the Premier League, Jim? I think... Still, though, I think you, Pete, you're thinking Dyche as well, maybe. I, th- I think he's stocky enough. I think he could, yeah. he could take a couple. He's, fair fair enough. J- sorry, but, but fine. But are you honestly telling me Sean Dyche could give Nigel Pearson a run for his money? Well, Jim, well, you, you you said Dyche there. Yeah. Well, I just think he, he does look quite hard. I think it, it, his voice throws me because look, I, I appreciate this is quite an abstract thing, but his voice <laughs> reminds me of what it would sound like if basically a ball bag that had been at the beach all day <laughs> and was covered in sand. <laughs> Was like that's that's <laughs> sort of what his voice is like to me. A man's <laughs> ball bag. Does that make a sandy mind? ball bag? <laughs> that's what I, I, I think. I, if a sandy ball bag had a voice, right, it would be Sean Dyche's voice. Is what I'm saying. Well, like, I appreciate this has got nothing grab... to do with the question, <laughs> but I just it's thought I had to, to share it. Does that make him hard <laughs> or not? I don't know. Okay, it's a, <laughs> it's a nice input. <laughs> a sandy ball bag that can talk. <laughs> Oh, he's not beating Pearson in a rut. No, no way. <laughs> so this is it. The voice is weird, isn't it? The, the, the voice, if anything, actually, for this reason, is what makes you think maybe, yeah, maybe he's not always cracked up to do. Because it's not a hard voice, is it? It's a strange voice. <laughs> yeah, I sort of know what you mean, yeah. The beard undermines him as well, the goatee bit, yeah. If anything, that adds to the sandy effect. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you want to get in touch, then... <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, OK, fair enough. So I'll go Hughes, then. He's making up the top three Hughes. We <laughs> can't... It, yeah. But are you... So you're saying Allardyce, Pearson... Not just the win, but the actual performance. Like <laughs> yeah. Games. Please, there were so many... <laughs> I can understand what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Voice like a sandy ball bag. Get that ball bag off well, the beat. I speak to him about the fact <laughs> is, you know, to have that freedom to play us in the Ooh, moment. Oh, yeah, I got, yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, Listeners, I'm, just I'm, so you know, this is that is not the mystery voice competition. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> that comes later. It's yeah. the mouth at the bottom of the um, test. Testicles, or just in in the in the cradle between the testicles inside the scrotum. I, I would think the, everyone would picture that differently. I, I see the face and the mouth above the actual <laughs> testes and yeah. the top of the bag. Yeah, just sitting on the top. The, 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 the meat of the balls would probably create. So the you would chin have to. You would have to. You would have to. Least, you would have to lift up the the, the, the the penis to allow Sean to breathe and talk. Yeah, and I mean he's been at the beach all day. He's yeah. covered in sand and he's not happy. Would he, so have been covered mess in, down there. would he have been covered in, like, uh, in um, suntan lotion as well? Or would it make him more, even know. more Do you, do you sticky? Tan, tan lotion your balls? I don't. So <laughs> if I it, guess not. If they're <laughs> wafting about the place... This is taking a turn. I've got to draw a turn, hasn't I think, it? I think not to, uh, not to yeah, get a win the horse scored in that game as well, I think. It, it's strange, isn't it, how certain teams um, are, are such a bogey side to others. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They've really got their number. Do you think it was Roy Keane on the bench looking absolutely terrifying wearing that black and grey beard? Yeah. It's like a badger. Luke, it's you're not going grey. It's not going yeah. grey, is it? It's just, it's grey and black. <laughs> but yeah, there's, yeah. There's no... He'll be that colour till he dies, probably. Mm. He, he, I'm not sure he will die. No, he won't. If he could die, in theory. Um, him and Keith Richards, just be him just, just <laughs> yeah. alive at the end of time. And how much would Keith Richards annoy Roy Keane? Yeah. Yeah, he would. He so would. Yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd, he'd talk. He'd have like. He'd be annoyed that he had no like discipline. And, yeah, like, yeah. Even yeah. though Keith Richards was the only other human on the planet, Keane would just leave. <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah. <laughs> so we should probably bomb Keith Richards a bit. We should probably get together, you know, and strengthen numbers. And stuff. No, prefer the cockroaches to you, you prick. <laughs> Go if away. They, if they were the last, Fuck off. If, <laughs> if they were the last two human beings on Earth, yeah. and for whatever reason, um, just bear with me, they were to get married, I think Roy Richards or Keith Keane would sound quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, think that, I think that Roy Keane quite likes a lot of Rolling Stone songs, almost b- despite himself. Yes, he doesn't agree with the lifestyle mm. and the lack of discipline in yeah, how they yeah, lived yeah. their lives, but he, he taps his foot to, to brown know, sugar. They're, they're, still going. they're still <laughs> going. They're pretty disciplined in their it's, own way. He probably respect that. He respects them now. He's the yeah. only male now so he likes them more now because <laughs> of their discipline regime. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. he still won't talk to him. Are you sure I don't have to track back, Roy? And that sums up <laughs> Liverpool Aston Villa. Let's, <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. No, I, th- I think that... Uh, on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. But still way more passionate than fans that would be like on the pitch yeah. in most countries. Can I talk to you about gunsy New York Red Bulls. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Briefly just I thought that might have be been your highlights of the week. Oh no, that's because I'll, I'll leave that bit to the listeners. No, okay, right. fair uh, but um, I don't think me going to Red Bulls were any of their highlights of the week. All if right. it was, they haven't made. No, but we all have a personal one, of course. Of course, um, I think that um, yeah, I would like to tell you that 
New York Red Bulls against DC United was a really good game. Yes. And uh, New York Red Bulls um, won 1-0. Last one was pretty much last kick of the game. But what I want to tell you about is this really funny moment that happened. One of the funniest things I've seen at a football game, right? <laughs> I was standing... Uh, I haven't told you this already, have I? So just for the benefit of the listener, I, I, I promise you this is so good. I'm on the edge of my seat. Yeah. <laughs> so DC United manager is a manager called Ben Olsen, I think. He's a tracksuit manager. Really, um, really sort of like animated. Danish? I'm not, no, I think he's American. Okay. But he certainly seems American. I haven't checked that. But anyway, he's really animated. He's always up on his feet, always in the technical area. Mm waving his arms around all that sort of stuff right and I think halfway through the first half um, DC United had a man sent off for a late tackle I didn't, I didn't see it was miles away from where I was sitting and I haven't seen it back but a lot of people seem to suggest it was a dodgy red that he shouldn't have gone he shouldn't have walked but of course they had to play like two thirds of the game with, um, <laughs> with with ten men and Ben Olsen got really pissed off like he was like throwing his arms around you could hear him shouting mm. he was like properly angry like a real apoplectic Diego Simeone type <laughs> rage yeah and then this uh, we were right behind the benches yeah and mm. this Guy, this American guy, New York Red Bulls fan, behind me. That's oh, right, next to me, behind the bench. Yeah. Just starts going, coach, 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 <laughs> coach. He did it about fifteen times till Ben Elsa turned around, and when Ben Elsa turned around, he just went, woo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is the most annoying thing you could do. It is so good. And and I'm I'm not not joking. He said coach so many times, I actually was thinking, I actually had time to think, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's not leaving this. What's he going to do? It is so good. But I have to say thanks to... So. The, the Georgia can clad of aviation. Yes, exactly. Well, with that in mind, uh, if you could fly a drone into a stadium, what would you do with it, Jim? Mm, well, I... <laughs> yeah, okay. Pete, what you got? Uh, the drone bone. No. Um, I would, um, you know, like those grabbing machines at the fair? Mm, mm, mm. I would have, like, that mechanism attached to a drone and I would... F- and I'm if, like, if player's so head like well, this already. Well, no, just just go to the crowd and pick up a pick up a supporter and then put it in the away end. Yeah! <laughs> 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 r- completely at random. Excellent. And because... And no, not at random. To, if they're misbehaving. Well, uh, well, that's what I was thinking. No, but even, no, but I think I think it would temper everyone a little bit. Everyone would stop being dicks if they knew that be, at yeah. some point. Apart they might from find the away end, th- 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 we'd have much more objectionable people in in, in football stadiums. Yeah. I think because at one point you'll be dropped in the middle. You might be dropped in the middle of the away fans. <laughs> so if you're like... giving it the swearies, just at random, the drone could pick you up and plop you in the middle. But it would be more the... trusty than the ones that, that you know on Brighton Pier or wherever you wherever. They, they could drop you. They could drop you. We could put you off. Actually, like, yeah. just drop you on one of the spikes or something, <laughs> you know, on the goalposts. It sounds like something that would happen in the old Schwarzenegger film, like Running Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Any of those sort uh, of 80s of movies. I mean, drones are quite small, so they've got more tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's very fertile ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Well, um, uh, you may have seen a, a picture of this. The way that Zeman's team lined up. Um, against Inter at the San Siro when they took kickoff, all but two players were stood on on the halfway line, yeah, raring to that. go. That is so intimidating. It's so good, isn't it? It is brilliant. That it was unworkable. Very, I don't. I, I didn't know. <laughs> the one four one, Pete. All four goals were scored in the first half. <laughs> you you do the maths. Not having it. Well, it's it's fact now. I didn't <laughs> I didn't see anything beyond the actual screenshots. So I'm not sure how they what they actually did after the game kicked off. Do you know specifically what they did? No, I, I don't think, think it was, was like a mighty ducks thing. They just rearranged. Well. I don't think confused it confused the other team. I don't and think they just it, went forward in a big well, V. And they scored four goals. Yeah. I don't think it was Inter worked out what was happening. I'm asking questions about Inter team. I don't think it was like the scum thought rush or the or the the scum thought rush being. What Ali, McCle- Ali McLeod, I think his name is, uh, the Scotland manager who took them to the 78 World Cup, where he lined everyone up on the halfway line and uh, take the kick off, launch it to their fullback, and just everyone <laughs> try and charge him down. And apparently, uh, for Scunthorpe, in a, like an early FA Cup game or something like that, it worked. Whereas McLeod tried that against the, I think it was the Czech, Czechoslovakia, it would have been at the time, in like a World Cup qualifier. <laughs> And the Czech fullback just looked at them all and like, cheers, Ch- knocked Ch- it over Ch- their head. <laughs> and the Czech fullback went up there and they didn't score hit the post. Oh, <laughs> Everyone's Amazing. sitting in Hamden Park going, McLeod, what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> It worked once. Yeah, <laughs> he was an utter Ali McLeod. But that, that's like Scottish independence. You'll only get one vote. Yeah. <laughs> you get one shot. You get one shot. Don't mess it up. You get one shot at the Scotland Rush or the ha- <laughs> <laughs> Scotland Rush. It, it, it. I think Ali McLeod, knowing the sort of character he was, would have quite liked that to be called the Ali Rush. Or yeah, I reckon yeah. so. I reckon so. Hey, hey, look. Piola, definitely not yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. It's all on the website, isn't it? All yeah. on there. All on there. Get yourselves over there. Um, uh, oh, let's go to Argentina for a, a funny little story, um, which I saw in, in Said and Done. 
Uh, a story from the lower leagues of Argentina, no doubt, uh, or no less. Um, the president of clubside Textil Mandiu, uh, Jorge Abib, has denied claims from the team's players that he broke into their apartments and robbed them after a defeat. <laughs> It's <laughs> outrageous. It's funny because it's a really serious crime. Shouldn't yeah. have to deny that, though. No. Um, if it's true, it's a long night as well. <laughs> it's a lot of apartments. They all live in the same block. <laughs> he's like the anti-clause, isn't I, he? I, he's I like, like Santa Claus. I, I, I like they all live in the same block, and he thought, well, I've done one. I'm like, yeah. well, I'm here. How angry do you have to be? Yeah. I'm taking back from you. Yeah. Um, one of the players said that uh, President Abib stole cash and made death threats, with another quoted as saying, it was wild. The president smashed everything up. Busy wow. evening. And, By your 11th breaking, how are you still that angry? I don't yeah. know. How have you not been caught? <laughs> <laughs> Were they all out? Yeah. It must have been. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, was it like, so the police have been called and they've not put two together that nine <laughs> players of the same team have been robbed and they've got no idea who the next two are going to fucking be. That's a joke. <laughs> What are they paying the police for? They've got what? one of those um, like wall charts where there's a string connecting yeah. everything. Yeah. Oh, wow, we don't it's just know a 4 2 We don't know who's next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hang on. Abib responded. President Abib responded. He said, it's lies. These players are bums and drunks. If anything, they rob me. Right. Oh, you're in their house. <laughs> Yeah. One thing that hasn't happened is yeah. that they robbed you. That yeah. hasn't happened. P.S. Would anyone like to buy a Blu ray player? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh dear. <laughs> but, but they both did laugh after. Yeah, that's right, I should say. So, Ryan, thank you very much for that. Jim, you've got an email as well. I do have an email. It's from a um, friend and luminary of the Ramble, Murray James. He has only gone and done us a big shop 11. Um, so, get nice. ready. Get Good. ready. So, right, we're in ready. goal, we've got Peter Checkout. <laughs> Strong, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Left back, Barcode Sanya. <laughs> <laughs> Centre back, Paolo Mildilni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> excellent, Other centre back is Bog off Melberg, as in buy one get yeah. one free. Yeah. Then at right back you got John Arna Freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Left midfield. I'll just do the midfield. You got Veggie Blinker. <laughs> Veggie Blinker. Trolley Trollivier Decor. Yeah. <laughs> Sergio Baskets. <laughs> John Joe Shelvesy. <laughs> and up front you got Jan Venegor of Household Inc. <laughs> 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 and Roberto Badging area <laughs> on the bench you've got Ika Kashiers yeah, yeah. Ibrahima Bakery Oko <laughs> Meat Chew <laughs> <laughs> Farmacia Abu and Tony Derigo manager Bip 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 Guardiola <laughs> assistant manager Alan yeah. Pardew three for two until next time take care of yourselves and each other hashtag go fuck yourselves Murray yeah. Yeah. thanks Murray yeah, excellent work yeah. it's lovely to see Murray However, the Levski fans Fastest were angry Lincoln. and said he'd feigned this. So you can start laughing again. I think he did fake it. I, I think he did fake it. <laughs> he's, he's more than within his right to do so. Don't throw things at the manager. Donald, can you, can you answer me this? <laughs> Don't throw things at the manager. You must have been, as I was when you were a kid, a fan of wrapping up a dog shit in a snowball. What? Oh, my um, God. I, I have know. never... Yeah, as did I, you yeah. appalling Luke human. More. Former school bully, Luke Moore. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I would usually throw a snowball at a horse on the way. <laughs> what is it about northeastern people abusing horses? You want cruelty to animals? Yeah, it's worse. No, no, animal no, no. bully, Pete Donaldson. It's not worse. No, 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 no. No, I'll tell you for why. Because every time I used to, every morning I. Because he to, threw them at you. I used to, I used to run, after run across the school field, uh, well, the, the field next to the school, and the horse always used to chase me, and I was shit scared of it. A horse cannot manufacture a snowball. It's got a cloven hoof. Mm. It's, it's not fair. Me, tried to bite me. Hang on a minute. We talk about it's not fair. If you got up a little bit earlier, you wouldn't have had to run across the field. You wouldn't have startled the horse, and then you wouldn't have had to punch it like all of your Geordie <laughs> brethren. <laughs> <laughs> Going to school for a field with a horse in it. <laughs> this is a fucking Beano. Yeah, <laughs> and that is genuine criticism from a man who was just talking about wrapping a shit up in a snowball. <laughs> Can I just say that was a weapon for me against the bullies, not a bullying oh, weapon. Oh, was it? Yeah, but that's going pretty. Did, would nuclear. you have thrown that at a horse with the dog? Oh, in? I don't agree with cruelty to animals. Full stop. Uh, oh, you've gone too far, there, Donaldson. That was a terrible thing for me to do, but it, I, in, re in retrospect, it did bite me a couple of Can times. I ask you? Can, <laughs> I, can I ask you just a quick question? Genuinely, if you threw a snowball at a horse and it lost consciousness for seven minutes, it's not a laughing matter. What would you do? What would you do? Would you, f would you accuse it someone? of faking the. <laughs> You'd accuse it of just faking it like the Levski fans, yeah. Come on, you silly ass. Yeah. I can, rem I can remember back in. <laughs>
back in the corner. Pin them in. Pin them in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, England did. I mean, it's, you know, n- not uh, the, the kind of opposition that will probably get to the latter stages of the European Championship. But Scotland have been playing well. They were off the back of a good That's not about England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was beautiful. Looked, uh, Glasgow looked beautiful over the weekend, watching the Partick match on uh, Sky. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Lovely. I had a lovely time. Yeah. And... Uh, Met a couple of uh, couple of chaps, didn't I? One of them called Terry Venables, and I went, go, Craigie Brood. Oh, wow. yeah. There was cannot there. be a single person who's ever listened to the Ramble and has <laughs> access to the internet that has not seen this. <laughs> <laughs> but in case there is, you should probably tell him. Ah, oh, Craigie, what a man. What a lovely, genuinely lovely man. He really was. Um, uh, just quickly before we move on, they did make me laugh because uh, we were doing a little thing. Uh, for Ball Street um, thing I worked with uh, for the fan game which was happened beforehand and Craig, I said to Craig Brown I heard your team talk just consisted of you saying lads it's England and he went no 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 he just said he said all I said was lads it's them <laughs> he was like we wouldn't dignify you as given your name you know and then Terry Reynolds to be fair to him and he said and all I said to them was lads it's us <laughs> nice <laughs> which good. I thought was very good, good. Stuff. <laughs> very good very good indeed uh, right but he, he was knowledgeable about football and suddenly was commentating on the FA Cup. He was yeah. so excitable and he got, the, he got the right game for it as well. I don't know who the man is, but I want to hear more of it's him. It's great. My favourite bit was when Leon Best hit one over the bar and he perhaps should have done better. He went, Leon Best! Oh no! Goal kick! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Was, he, you've got the shrill tone very well there. Thank you very much. I've been practising all afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you've, got, you've got track record of practising impressions. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bob Hoskins? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and that's Nelson Mandela, right? Yeah. <laughs> or no. <laughs> now, uh, Southampton won. Wow. Just edit that out for crying out loud. No. Southampton won, Ipswich won. A decent result for Ipswich. <laughs> no. We are not moving on from that yet. <laughs> 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 Where were you when we were shit? I wasn't scoring any goals and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm here now. I'm here now. <laughs> um, uh, l- before we go to Pete's mystery voice game, let's go quickly to Thailand, where former Newcastle favourite Nob- 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 Solano has Nobby. reportedly uh, agreed to take the reins at third tier side. Who are in City? Can he not get? Can he not get a Newcastle nod? <laughs> well, you'd think so. I mean, what I would say is notable womanizer Norbert Aslana going to a notable flesh pot. <laughs> <laughs> flesh <laughs> pot. <laughs> there you uh, go. I am That's making no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying, third tier side in Thailand. I mean, the- come on. I'm loath to side. If, 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 if this was a crime, if this was like the serial podcast or something, I'd have a big chart on the wall with a piece of string go from a pair of boobs to Nobby's eyes. And that's that's all it would be. There'd be nothing else on the chart. Trumpet? Would there be a trumpet? Yeah, yeah maybe a trumpet. Yeah. As a side concern. A yeah. trumpet. <laughs> just just lean, leaning against the bedroom door. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear! What is he doing? Good luck to him. He said mm. he wanted to roll in England. Yeah. Is Peter Reid still in a bed? <laughs> <laughs> is Peter Reid still there? It's not. I don't know. No, Peter Reid. After shouting at the young lad during his team's match against Frankfurt, "Give me the ball, you motherfucker!" <laughs> that kind of reminded me. That kind of reminded me. He learned me. that at Chelsea, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. It reminded me of that scene in The Usual Suspects. If you've ever seen The Usual Suspects. Give me the keys, you fucking cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would yeah. the ball boy have to have a line-up of the footballers in case he couldn't remember he doesn't the need. He doesn't need to be that rude. Clearly, yeah, especially no. to someone who's helping him get yeah, the ball. Yeah. And he's probably and about 12 years yeah, old. Yeah, let's not forget, he's an actual child. I mean, yeah. That is, yeah, yeah. That's one of those moments where you go, yeah, I'm, oh, this is going to repeat on me. Yeah. James <laughs> Morrison would have punched him. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, isn't there rumours that De Bruyne might go back to Chelsea, though? Is there? The, well, the problem is, his girlfriend slept with Cotois. Which is quite interesting. How do you know this? Because it was in all the newspapers. She cheated on him with Courtois. It's all very kind of backstage at WrestleMania, but it's very exciting. <laughs> shit, shit, that woman does not have a vagina. She has a youth development policy. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, how, imagine how technically qualified as footballers. Yeah, I should think so. That. <laughs> very, very good sperm in there. I don't know what to say to that. No. <laughs> um, can we go back to the macaroons thing? If we could. <laughs> if we could. Marvellous. No, so you're not even here. He's, no, he might so, be. He's just denying it. He doesn't want to tell you anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about this from Sam? What is, <laughs> what is the biggest animal you think you could single-handedly cling film to a lamppost? <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners, ladies and gentlemen. I Our think listeners. That is, that is 
all of us in the room presumably will be familiar with the largest animal you can throw single-handedly over a crossbar. Mm. Yeah. It's a similar question. Immediately, I'm thinking claws. I'm thinking you don't want an animal with claws. Yeah. No, because it's going to come. I, I, medium-sized fish. <laughs> Me? Like, like a tuna, like a tuna. A fish yeah. would be so, so difficult because getting cling... I'm a clumsy man, so cling film is my natural enemy. <laughs> yeah. getting, getting cling film out anyway would be difficult. You've got to go for a snake. It's the shape. You hold it with a hand, you can get quite a big snake as well, and you just wrap it around. Well, if you're holding it with one hand, it's not a big snake. Yeah, but it, it can be a, it can still be a long snake. Actually, get a constrictor snake and it'll wrap itself around the lamppost anyway. Yeah, and then you just bring the cling it, film around. Just, just get it to Done. help you. Just draw a face on it. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I reckon a tortoise. <laughs> Tortoise is a heavy though. My, yeah. my mum, my mum I'm thinking that you'd have to tape its mouth up, but I think a beaver. A beaver? Yeah. There is no way you could cling film a beaver to a lamppost. I'm just putting that oh, it's out a there. And effort. I hate saying that. It's not a collective effort. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing so is, though, the way you said that there, just a the beaver really confidently, it made me think that you'd already done it. Yeah. <laughs> People are leaving and see one. Out of all the things that have been said, why are you kicking off about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just think a beaver's unrealistic for a man of your stature. <laughs> Wouldn't the beaver start just, like, hacking at the lamppost? And it's it's taping up the mouth. It's going to... It's going to... Uh, cruelty. That's just cruel. All right, medium-sized fish. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't mean a medium-sized fish like when you go to a chip shop. I mean, like, an actual, like, a big bluefin tuna. You can get something. a fish supper around it. Yeah. They're, not, they're not that northern that they can't imagine any other fish <laughs> in the world. <laughs> 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 uh, they're southern to you. Could you get gravy in there as well? Yeah. So is that <laughs> um, and, and the final question... Um, yeah, it's great though, isn't it? It's great to hear a player yeah. say that. You're damn yeah. right, it is. You're damn right, it is. Um, uh, there was a bit of glitz and glamour at uh, Watford on the weekend because Sir Elton John was there. Mm. Yeah. Um, he was present and addressing uh, the fans after a stand was named after him at Vicarage Road. He's, he's had a lot of investment into that club. Yeah, former and director. lifelong uh, fan. Former director and all that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Had, he's had a busy week. Didn't he fall over at the uh, tennis or something? That's not a busy week. Falling <laughs> over once. <laughs> How's that a busy week? <laughs> well, Stephen Crawford seems finished. to have had a busy week and he Don't fell over. Go home for the famous. weekend. I've been shock a block. But what did you do? I fell, fell over. over. Yeah, when, yeah. when, it, when he's at that age, that's a hip risk. Fall, that. fall before a pride, yeah. that. And yeah. Elton John looks like an aunt, doesn't he? Yeah. So he does, it's yeah. Bad, yeah. It's bad to fall when bad you're an aunt stuff. of that age. <laughs> mm. So when you say you're busy, <laughs> yeah. you're on your own. You've been falling over. Just me and a zob. Falling constantly. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Yeah. Well, Watford won. They won for Sir Elton and themselves. Great to hear, like an, an international player playing in the Southern Premier League. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, Lee Curtis. Well, a few people got in touch with this one, but Lee Curtis was first, so he gets the name check. St Mirren's captain Stephen Thompson. Oh, this is amazing. Goring teammate John McGinn through the horrible. thigh with a spiked pole in a training ground prank. Prank. He threw it at him, didn't he? And yeah. He, he, he just joking around. Well, I know that, that. I love that was his explanation. I was. Oh, I didn't mean anything like that. It was just a joke. What you, you threw a spear at him as a joke? <laughs> yeah, but you can imagine though if you uh, if you got you a spear. Know. This is, this is how the BBC reported. it. Thompson <laughs> yeah. threw a spiked pole at McGinn, which pierced his thigh and meant the 20-year-old missed the Saturday game against Kilmarnock. The Scotland under-21 midfielder is expected to be out for a further three weeks with the injury. <laughs> I'm mortified by the whole thing, said Thompson. It was a daft prank. Um, the 36-year-old then added, I threw it for a laugh, stupid me trying to be funny, and unfortunately it's anything but. It's a total disaster. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got, it, got a past for this as well. This guy's literally old enough to be not, his dad. It's, yeah. But it's not a prank, is it? No. It launched Throwing an a enormously is very much not <laughs> Well, Lee, Lee Curtis finishes off by saying, well, they won the game 4-1. His methods are unorthodox, but damn, they get results. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder, who's guy... next. I wonder who's next in the reign of terror. Yeah. This guy has also um, been out injured before because I think he sliced a nerve in his hand when cutting up an apple. Um, <laughs> and he was also out for a time because he fell off of a banana boat on holiday. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'll so, this. Something of the Keegan about <laughs> this guy. Um, captain. He's captain of the team. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ca he wasn't captain of the boat, though, was he? The, the the manager's like, that's captain material, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, the fact it's a banana boat. How, if it was just a boat, uh, uh, How few <laughs> leaders do they have in that squad? <laughs> the, the last captain died because he set up a trebuchet and fired <laughs> him, <laughs> himself over a wall. Well, old uh, Jimmy was going to be captain, but he's got his foot caught in a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> so he's lost a yard. <laughs> um, I'll finish off the highlights with that. A big 71-year-old man film crowd serving. That's what we like to see. Who late. from the fan... I reckon it'd be late. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. Who from the fantastic world of football would you like to crowd surf, Jim, or see crowd surf? Um, Mate dog. <laughs> I'd go for Steve Bruce. Because it's very usual suspecting this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. I didn't... Yeah. 
I, th- I think I think with Bruce, I'd like to see him. I just like to see him after. The, you saw the pictures of him on holiday. Yeah, which were on yeah, the Ramble yeah. website. Massive belly on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's no surprise there's, to anyone. I mean, there's, look, there's something funny about seeing Steve Bruce in his swim shorts. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you see the one of him diving into the water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. Free Brucey. <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't say that. It was fantastic, mate. He's diving off a boat, isn't he? I mean, he's diving he's off, off a boat. Good yeah. God. And, um, yeah. L- listing to the side. I mean, of course, we <laughs> should... we should for the whole season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we well, wouldn't hit the water, would they? <laughs> 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 um, the thing is, it, we've got to be a bit... De- we've got to have a bit of deference here because the man was a professional athlete, so of I mean, none of us achieved. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, I mean, it is funny. <laughs> Although we've funny, all got the know. same amount of England caps. <laughs> Shall we keep talking not to steal Marcus can bring himself back to Yeah, England? I think yeah. we're going to have to. Yeah, come yeah. on, mate. <laughs> right there. Free Brucey. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you made just... yourself laugh. Two more. Mm-hmm. They'll and they'll, they'll, and they'll get, get that. both of them at the Emirates. They probably the will. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and they'll they'll make off with Alexis Sanchez as well. No one will notice. And somehow that'll be legally binding. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what about this, eh? Former Manchester United star Eric Cantona mm. has denied that he's been in a pornographic film. I've seen it. Yeah, did you? I saw the, I saw the scene. Okay, yeah, he played... When I first saw this, it says Cantona denies he's in a pornographic film, and I just had visions of him being interviewed about something completely different. I've not been in a porno. <laughs> what, hang, <laughs> have you been in a porno? Well, I just said I hadn't. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> why are you bringing a porno? <laughs> <laughs> bring yeah, for. but that, that's not the reason. He's, he, he plays a character called The Stud. In the French film You and the Night, I, I think like the, the reporting around this is so childish. <laughs> it really it's so, is. So like deliberately ignorant. <laughs> oh, it's got boobs in it. It must yeah. be porn. That oh. said, not, oh, they just say it's art. It's not art. That said, it's in the football ramble. I've, I've, <laughs> see, I've seen the scene. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening because I presume it's in French. And uh, he, he he enters the scene. There's a couple of people. There's Probably a ma- there's a there's a man. <laughs> he's dressed as the scene. There's man. I'm no better than them. It turns out. <laughs> <laughs> is the scene friends with the stud? There's a man. Let him finish, Louis. <laughs> there's a man. He's dressed in kind of like almost farmer's gear kind of thing on, on a farmer on a day off kind of gear. Uh, and there's a there's a there's a sexy young man. There's a sexy young man who's dressed as like a maid, like a little makeup on and stuff, like a kind of like a, a, a trans um, transvestite kind of. Uh, jobby. Uh, and Eric Cantona gets his penis out. He and out. and the, 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 the male maid starts stroking it. Well, I know. But apparently, oh, wow. it's a, apparently it's a stunt penis. It's a lovely piece of work, but apparently I've, I've, I've read up on it. The penis? <laughs> I've read up on it and it's a stunt, it's a stunt penis. Right. So. It's a lovely piece of work. Is that but prosthetic imagine, or is, is that someone's job? A prosthetic. <laughs> it's stunt penis. Uh, I don't know. I think in porn, a stunt penis is a man who just finishes a job where a other man failed his exams. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> 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 and more than people who would be yeah. really flying colours. Uh, so well, critics have described the film as a superb artistic orgy, if anyone's interested. <laughs> Ken- Cantona said it's just a piece of art. Sounds a bit... Uh, it's just a bit of fun. It's just banter. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. You should see it. You start oh, getting penis. Yeah, I was yeah, to, uh, <laughs> Is that but, mine? But imagine, if he, but imagine if he sort of came into like, this dressing room like, during a match and did that. A man just came in and started stroking Eric Cantona's penis. <laughs> That would be a psych out, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's I'd do it in the tunnel in front of the, everybody else. Mm. That's one for After Effects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or for Danny Baker's next video. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so uh, well done, well done, Chelsea. Well done. You know, I've not done anything yet. If you yeah. slag off Van Howe, he's like five on Spain. Yeah, but I don't, think, yeah. I don't think he you know. needs. Uh, I don't think he needs hum- humility. It's not going to improve the situation for him. It would like, improve, he needs, not, it improve, yeah, improve the media no, it situation. Would, it would improve him not looking like a giant penis on the side, <laughs> which I'm sure he's interested in on some level. The thing I didn't like is that I'm right in saying he left uh, Carlos Hill out the starting lineup. Did he? And to me, that just seems a bit like, oh, he's a foreign fancy man. He's not going to work hard. And it's like you, you could do with that sort of player to unlock a door against Newcastle. Well, Newcastle have got fragile confidence themselves. Yeah, the teams and a terrible back four. Mm. An mm. awful back Exactly. Court. They'll be un- apart from Yamat, who's doing I, all right, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's a classy. Player. He's a classy yeah. international. He footballer. don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's happening. I'm being Why managed by John Carver now. I'm being, I'm being managed by a, a North Eastern fist. <laughs> <laughs> it just yearns for the days when he didn't know who John Carver was. Yeah. <laughs> <I> just, uh, <laughs> I would do what you say, boss, but I have no idea what you're saying, so I'm just going to do what I want. And your assistant, your assistant Steve Stodd just looks like a big flesh-coloured penny. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good at coaching, it seems. One thing you do have now, though... <laughs> one thing you do have now, though, is a Jonas. That's good, I know, yeah, it? Jonas is back. That was nice. That was nice to uh, run over to um, to Jonas to... R- not remonstrate. What's the opposite of remonstrating? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, Jonas! Why are you back? 
What's wrong with you two? <laughs> I think mean, I mean, they're still laughing at the flesh. Just dealing, in, uh, dealing in your new currency. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, so they won, they beat... I'd love Aston to see Villa. Steve Stone on a penny. <laughs> 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 you can probably get one of those old England coins yeah. um, with Steve Stone on it. Yeah. Steve Stone's a legend for Portsmouth. He's a, he's a legend. <laughs> Pull a few people in for that one, you know what I mean? Like when you yeah. see teams like, uh, I remember when I think Millwall were in a. Well, Oxford the United cups. and Luton Town, those yeah. uh, The thing that I find quite distasteful. Well, Grimsby as well, you know, quite, it, so. Yeah, because they're a league club for a number of years. Hmm. The thing I don't like, I find quite distasteful, is that um, the media keep putting like monetary value on all these games. So they say yeah. they, they talk about the yeah. they talk about a championship playoff on it's the hundred million pound game, mm. and they talked about the the um, the conference playoff as the million pound game. It's like. Fans want to see their teams win. They want yeah, to see their teams mm, get promoted. They yeah. want to enjoy the day. I don't mm. think it's great if a bunch of fans go to a game thinking, oh, the club will be a hundred million pound richer if we, if we win this. It's like yeah. they want it's to see crass, their team win at Wembley. It? Yeah, it's really crap. But if they had a guy at the side of the pitch with a huge cheque, yeah. you'd think that's fair enough. Yeah, you don't need big cheques anymore. But the yeah. reason it's distasteful is because it, it doesn't mean anything to the fans. All it means to them is they're going to have to pay more for their season yeah, tickets. Yeah, yeah. I think if there was a transaction right there and then. You want a big cheque. That's all you want. Basically. Yeah. Okay, fine. We have to wait for comic relief. Or to they, see could, them. they could put the, the club's bank balance <laughs> statement up on the big screen yeah. at Wembley, and when it, and when it drops <laughs> in, you hit refresh, when it drops in, everyone goes, Yeah, yeah. 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 it should change, like, depending get on creative the. creative with it, guys. I'll get, like, it should change depending on the score as well. Yeah, okay, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Get, like, about. a film baddie into the centre side and go, the, the funds have been transferred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! At each end, because you know at Wembley, they separate <laughs> the fans by each end, so above that fans, uh, those fans, so yeah. say above the Grimsby fans, mm. you get, like, the picture of their back balance but above the Bristol Rovers you get a picture of yeah. theirs and they might just keep going over back and forth <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you have the princes and paupers ends yeah. and they switch yeah. over with yeah. the ball and Bruce Forsyth's involved somehow yeah and, yeah. and uh, losing fans have to um, donate their clothes <laughs> <laughs> and they've got to walk on in barrels. They, yeah. they literally have to leave in, in bid lining. Yeah. 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 Then they have to just go down a mine. Yeah. Yeah. And just work. That's proper bragging that's, that's rights. That's Grimsby yeah. anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Yeah. Have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all we want. Mm. Uh, let's... <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's been good, hasn't it? I would have to say, <laughs> it's, it's probably... Um, Watching that Carly Lloyd hat trick. I was in America at the time. Yo, no oh, no way! You didn't mention you that do you went like to America, America right? these days, don't you? <laughs> hashtag travel. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag, Luke, hashtag. Luke went to America for a couple of weeks, and uh, on every Instagram, already wrong. All right, how many weeks? No, carry on. Ten days. Now, I'll, I'll have questions no, at the don't, end. Don't, Pete, don't get dragged into right. it. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't be getting dragged into it. I'll have and, questions at the end. And under every post next to him eating a Philly cheesesteak, he, he, wrote, <laughs> he wrote the hashtag, hashtag travel. Yeah, like it was, you know, in, I don't know, Vladivostok or hashtag something. Hashtag travel, hashtag stateside. <laughs> oh, yeah. hashtag He's doing medium. it because Alan Wicker couldn't. Hashtag take me out to the ball game. Hashtag yeah. cracker jacks. <laughs> Wonderful. Sorry, I thought this was my highlight of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> that was my highlight of the summer. Yeah, ours yeah, has been your hashtag. Been a Shinsai Bashi in uh, <laughs> Tokyo. Mm. Okay. Good. Well, if you could organise an event for Newcastle United, which was more appropriate, perhaps, um, for the club... What would you come up with, Jim? Well, I think it was very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Peter, what about you? Um, I think uh, a fitting end to the um, Premier League season for the Newcastle United um, relegation. players. Is, <laughs> apart from relegation, is you know you need something a bit more pageantry, mm. bit of ceremony. Mm. I'm thinking uh, a lovely uh, match of piss jousting. So, oh, right. right. So, two players. Is that an event? Uh, yeah, piss jousting, where you just stand next to each other, pee on each other. One person's going to win, one person's going to lose. But either way, both, both of them are going to lose. Where's both the people joust? are going to get, the people are gonna get piss on them. Where's the yeah. joust? Let me get me answer out, Marcus Speller, ringmaster. <laughs> All right. This isn't an event. Piss jousting. <laughs> So Marcus, is it like so a all, tournament? It's all they deserve and it's all they can muster. Marcus, right. is, look, Marcus is looking at me with despair on his face, <laughs> shrugging his shoulders, <laughs> saying, I don't know how this has happened. Well, technically it's on his watch, so <laughs> yeah. he's failed to control you're me. You're a guest and he's failed to control me. <laughs> <laughs> Read it in your piss track. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are coming to the live show on Friday, yeah. hey, that's a piss jousting. Quali- that's the sort of quality you can expect. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, I've not if, you heard are, of... if you are coming to the live show on Friday, bring a change of clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I've not heard of piss jousting either until now no uh, excellent I, well, I is think it, it excellent yeah. Uh, yeah. well no, it's, it's over mm. that's what's excellent mm. about it um, <laughs> I thought 
I like this Moggy. They were a good bunch of Middlesbrough. Yeah, they seemed, they, they, they seemed all right on the day as well. Uh, Marcus, I mean, before the, I mean, it was before the whistle went off. You um, oh. indulged on what can only be described, <laughs> Deary me, indulging what can only be described as as, as a piss joust. <laughs> What? Marcus, I, I mean, know about this. so excited that you were about my, you know, <laughs> revelation of, of a piss joust, you couldn't wait to get in a cubicle with a man doing a piss joust. Who was the man? Marcus, so, tell us everything. S- sadly, this is, um, this is all true. S- s- uh, set the scene, set the scene, we're at Wembley. Oh, we're at Wembley, we're in. In the, in the cheap seats, we're in. We're going in, we're going to... Behind to, enemy lines, we made yeah. it in. <laughs> you're, not, you're not used to it, because you're in the cheap seats, you I, don't know where to go. Yeah. I can't believe it. No. At half time, I thought, well, is someone going to bring my dinner to me? <laughs> um, uh, so, so there's two, no, kinds of to- there's two kinds of toilets. There's a big old queue for the urinal toilets. Yes. And then there's another block of toilets that is just cubicles. <laughs> and so... Pete I, and I, for some reason, were talking about... Your teeth. I was saying, yeah, the people in the North East have strong teeth because there's a lot of food right in the water. Oh, is that and right? This, okay. And this bloke turned around and went, have you got good teeth, like? And yeah. I went, yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> and then he proceeded to I've tell never, us his I've dental a, history. Yeah, I've never, I said, I've never had a filling. And he goes, oh, I've got a bridge here and I can't, I can't abide bad teeth, me. And he's like really annoyed about, his, about <laughs> the possibility. In a really friendly manner. Yeah, he I was really that. lovely. He was really nice. Um, anyway, so big Pete, ginger block. Pete went, off, Pete went off into his cubicle. <laughs> mm. I waited like a civilised member of society, and this man went into a cubicle, which was a slightly bigger one, and started beckoning me to come in and join him pissing in this bowl. And I was a bit like, nah, you're all right, man, I'll just point him around. He's like, no, nah, come on, come on. He was really keen for me to get in there. Yeah. Very, very seldom in my life have I ever given into peer pressure. Mm. That was one of those so, moments. So basically, peer out, pressure. Of, out of your own politeness, <laughs> out of your own crippling Britishness, you just had a piss joust. So you shared, a toilet, to you shared a toilet, toilet bowl in not a large cubicle, as yeah. I recall. When, no, when, he said, when he said peer pressure, did you say pee pressure? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, so, this, so, so, you know, there he was. We were both um, weeing Jousting. into the same bowl. And, uh, it, and the conversations you have as an Englishman, you always have to comment on what's going on. Oh, that's big. <laughs> so I, that's, that's getting so, bigger. So oh, I that's coming towards me. <laughs> 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 so I genuinely sort of went, uh, well, you've been storing that up, haven't you? <laughs> Don't comment on the vo- Do not comment <laughs> inappropriate that on the, the volume of a man's bladder. Yeah. Don't do it. And then we decided to discuss the volume of, of urine coming out of, of the man's uh, knob. You're a savant. You know? Game was good, wasn't it? That's yeah. it. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm in the cheap seats. Mm. I just don't know how to act. No. Yeah, so I went back, told Pete this, and Pete went, you've actually been pissed jousting, haven't you? And I thought the shame of it. Terrible. Mm. Kind of liked it, though, ladies and gentlemen. Get involved if, if you if, can. If you said to me... You two went to the, f- the football, <laughs> and one of and you, one of you ended up in a cubicle. Oh, yeah, I would have probably put my entire mortgage <laughs> yeah. on it being uh, absolutely yeah. right as Pete Donaldson. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have even considered that it could have been Marcus. Keep them mm. guessing, ladies and gentlemen. Always keep them guessing. Public, yeah. <laughs> you signed who was a coach, Duncan Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. I've googled him, and it, <laughs> yeah. is it is it that one? Is it the one that comes up on Google? <laughs> My dad told me about him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot. I forgot to mention the uh, the um, Southport. We spotted spot Southport. Southport. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the keeper David Ray Mountain. He played really well. He's on loan from Blackburn. He did play um, well, yeah. He came from. Uh, he didn't come from Barcelona, but he, he came from the city of Barcelona. Right. Uh, but he tweeted uh, one of the weirdest feelings I've ever had: sadness, but at the same time happiness. That's what football do to you. <laughs> oh, that's oh, nice. Wow. That's that what great. football He's do pleased, to you. He was he was pleased with his own performance. I want that to be. That sounds to me like yeah. it should be the catchphrase of like a football playing cartoon character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the end of each episode, dab what football do to you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. I know, I think, I think it's more like it's a character that FIFA would have. Yeah. So yeah. when FIFA go into a country <laughs> and go, yeah, so we'll have all your tax profits from the last 10 yeah. years, yeah. we'll have all your stadiums made by the end of the year, yeah. we will fleece we, uh, the crap out yeah. of you. We now and run your law system. Exactly, yeah. so when they get up and leave the meeting and, and, the, and the local uh, uh, government is just sitting there in tatters, the bloke just turns to them and goes, that's what football do to you. Yeah. <laughs> and off he goes. Or well, just like an aerial shot of loads of skulls. Spelling out that's what football do to you. <laughs> Hello, is that, is that FIFA? Yeah, it's, uh, we had the World Cup like two summers ago, and now like, all our stadiums are empty and everyone's yeah. poor. I'm and wondering like, when the money's uh, going to come through. We, we have invoiced you. Yeah, yeah well, football do to you. <laughs> <laughs> is that that American bloke who's made of hair? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck Blazer, you're car- you're going around two motorised scooters and have got a, a separate Manhattan apartment just for your clothing. Yeah, well, football don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what rising house prices do to you. Yeah. <laughs>
Chuck Blazer, eh? Mm. I wonder what the show's going to be called this